What is it like to be a meteorite hunter? I'm Gretchen Benedicts, a professor in the School of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Curtin University. I'm what is known as an astrogeologist. That means I study rocks from space. Unlike terrestrial geologists, I can't go out into the field and pick up rocks in context. I have to wait for them to come to me. Luckily, the rocks come to me in the form of meteorites. At Curtin University, we have a program called the Desert Fireball Network. It's a network of cameras set up all over the outback of Australia, set up to look every night for falling, uh, falling meteorites so that we can actually try to figure out where they came from in space. Not only that, we can actually figure out where they fall on the ground. And this is a meteorite that was found by the Desert Fireball Network a few years ago. Uh, the composition of this rock tells us that it came from an asteroid. So we know that this came from an area called the asteroid belt, which is an area between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter that is full of a lot of small bodies. The texture tells us it came from a body that didn't melt. Asteroids are the main bodies that we have um, in our solar system that haven't melted. Some other of our rocks are pieces of um, what looks like very volcanic rock, and their ages are very, very young. They're sort of in the hundreds of millions of years, which in geologic terms is extremely young. It means it has to come from a body big enough to stay hot enough to have volcanism up until quite recently. So the number one uh, candidate for that is Mars. And we have um, extra evidence that says that the rocks that we think come from Mars probably do come from Mars in that they have little gas bubbles inside of them that were in them when they were formed on Mars, so they contain gas from Mars, we've been able to analyze that gas, and when we've done that, we found that that gas composition matches exactly the atmosphere of Mars, which was measured by one of the Viking landers. And finally, the, the last place we're sure that uh, meteorites come from is the moon. And the reason we know they come from the moon is because we went to the moon, we collected rocks there, we brought them back, uh, and then when we went searching in Antarctica in the early 80s, we brought back a rock from Antarctica that we knew was a meteorite. Um, and when the people in the lab looked at it, because they were at Johnson Space Center, which is where all the Apollo samples had come back and were curated and looked at, they knew right away that that was a sample that looked very much like a lunar rock. And they were able to determine that it was a lunar rock based on its chemistry. It's very hard to track and find a meteorite. The Desert Fireball Network's 50 cameras have been taking pictures every night at 30 second exposures for five years. And we have about 20 meteorites that we know are on the ground. 